Hi guys, today I will go with something simple but still using a modifier that I haven't used on my previous videos. So let's make this basket of breads using screw modifier. Hope you enjoy it. First, delete the cube, shift A, mesh, circle, G and move it either on X or Y axis until passing the zero point. Move the object origin by pressing object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. Next, add mirror modifier, set your circle next to each other, apply the modifier, adjust the angle, screw and iteration. Shift A, Curve, Circle Select your braid Add Curve Modifier Link Curve Object to Circle Change the form axis to Z And increase your iteration until it make a full loop Adjust until it looks seamless Shift D to copy it, place it on the top, maybe a bit bigger. I will apply all the modifiers since I won't change them. Copy and rotate a bit to fill the gap. And repeat until your basket is tall enough. You can copy and fill the bottom part if you want. You can also adjust the screw setting to make a constant shape and size of the webbing. But I will just do this for faster progress because my bottom part of basket won't show anyway. Next, Shift A, Mesh, Circle, or just use Curve Circle, adjust the size, G, C, and adjust the position. Right click and convert to Curve because mine is just a mess before. On curve setting, in geometry, bevel, increase the depth. Right click, shade smooth. Press 1 on the numpad keyboard to go to the front view, shift D to duplicate, right click to paste in place, R and rotate 90 degree. 3 on the numpad keyboard to go to the side view, go to edit mode, Alt Z to enter x-ray mode. Switch to face selection, delete the bottom half and a quarter. Back to object mode. Add mirror modifier. Axis to Y. Back to edit mode, select the edges, E to extrude down. F to fill, 
Ctrl P to bevel and scroll your mouse wheel to adjust the bevel. Check clipping box. Turn on proportional editing, G to move around and adjust your handle shape. Scrolling mouse wheel to adjust the proportional editing area. I will adjust the camera position first, 0 to enter camera view, select the box, G, and adjust the position, G, middle mouse click and scroll mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out, Next, let's make the bread. Shift A, mesh, round cube, operator preset, change to quartz spear, arch to 4, add subdivision surface modifier, go to edit mode. One on a numpad keyboard to go to the front view. Alt Z for X ray mode. With proportional editing on, select the bottom edge, G, C, and move up, shaping your bread. Also, check from the side view by pressing 3 on a numpad keyboard. Alt Z to turn off X-ray mode, A to select all, seven on the numpad keyboard to go to the top view, select edges on the top, Ctrl P to bevel. Select the middle edges. Turn off proportional editing. G, C, and move down the selected edges. Back to object mode. Position the bread on the floor and inside the basket. Use Alt to duplicate the bread as component and adjust as you like. I'll setting the lighting first. Next, select all the webbings, Ctrl J to join them, add new material, change the base color, 
and wait it for other elements. Select the bread. Turn off subdivision effect. Select middle edges inside the X. Add new material. Control P to bevel. Assign the new material. Go to object mode. Turn back on the effect. Go to shading tab. Search and add gradient texture and color ramp. Ctrl T on gradient texture to expand the setting. Change Y rotation to 90. Adjust the color and position of color stops. I will make some adjustment here. And lastly, you can change render engine to cycles. And that's it! Congratulations for us, we have finished another model today. Well done, well done! That's it for today's video. Please give it a like if you enjoy it and if you want more tutorial video like this, please subscribe too to help me grow this channel. Last but not least, if you have any suggestion and request, please kindly let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye!